Hi everyone, I'm Dakota. Welcome to this video on getting started with Angular UI Router. The first thing I'm going to do is show you what code you need to include in your project in order to start using Angular UI Router. Then we'll walk through building different states and hooking them up to a simple application, demonstrating nested views. Uh, and finally, I'll show you how you can write tests for your routes uh, to make sure that nothing is broken by future changes. This video is going to assume that you have some familiarity with the AngularJS framework and some of its key ter uh, terminology. You'll want to know about directives and how to use them within the context of HTML. Uh, they have other uses and implementations, but for the purposes of this video, they behave as attributes that add behavior to the elements that they're assigned to. Um, and for instance, like the ng app directive at the top of an index.html file is responsible for bootstrapping your Angular app and adding in all of the Angular functionality to your HTML document. Uh, to follow along with this tutorial, there are a few things you'll want to prepare. Um, you'll need a GitHub account, which is free and great to have if you don't have one already. Uh, it's at github.com. All, and I'm, there are a couple other links, but they're all going to be in the notes, so no worries about that. And then um, this is recommended but not required. Um, if you want to follow in with this, if you want to follow along with this tutorial and use the snippets that I've prepared, um, you want to download the same editor I'm using. It's called Visual Studio Code. Um, you can get it uh, on Mac, Windows, and Linux. Uh, it's totally free, open source, based on the Atom shell. Um, I heard about Visual Studio Code on the JavaScript Jabber podcast and just downloaded it to check it out last week. I'm really loving it so far. Uh, the IntelliSense is great. Uh, it kind of, you can see a little bit right here to like it fill in all the things that you could be trying to do and give you choices. So you can type in part of something and it'll kind of help you out. Um, and you can also add custom snippets that will appear in this IntelliSense list. Um, so that's really nice. Uh, and then you also need to make sure that you have uh, Node.js installed. There's a couple. There's a ton of different ways you can. A ton of different um, platforms it runs on, and these are the installation instructions for different ones. So you can click on one, and you'll see how to do it. Um, yeah, you may want to pause now if you haven't already completed these steps as following along with me step by step will require that you do so. Uh, and I think it's definitely worth it to give uh, Visual Studio Code a try. So definitely uh, check that out. The link will be uh, in the notes. Okay, so now that you're ready to continue, uh, you'll want to fork and clone uh, the repository linked in the video description is this one here. Um, the way you do that is you're going to click on this fork button. Um, and then you will be prompted to sign in if you're not already signed in. And if you are already signed in, there's a little, um, there'll be a little button there that you can click on your avatar. And then this page will reload on your um, account and then you want to click on this clone or download button and then you want to copy this URL so this is HTTPS normally I use SSH but this is fine for right now um, okay so now you've copied that to the clipboard and you're gonna want to open up Visual Studio Code I've already got it open here and then you're going to want to open up the attached terminal by hitting control backtick. It's also in the file menu, I believe, um, window. Or is it? Yeah, it's control backtick, integrated terminal. So view integrated terminal. But I use the control backtick. And then that opens up the terminal here, and you can hit. We want to go to the desktop, so I'm going to cd desktop, and then if we type pw, you see where we are. Okay, great. Um, and now we're going to, to clone the repository, we're going to go git clone, and then paste from our clipboard. 
and now we've got that there so I'm gonna change directory into that product uh, the the uh, tutorial and now we're in there but actually what I'm gonna do here Visual Studio Code has nice support for Git so if you go to file open you can actually select the repository the lesson here the tutorial and then open it and now we'll have the project in Visual Studio Code what happened okay alright so now everything is here and we have a nice uh, if we open up the terminal with control backtick again you can see when we type in PWD we are already in the project directory so that's a really nice way if you open the folder it has an attached terminal right there you can open with control black backtick and close it whenever you need to and then here it keeps track of your changes in git so let's um, this is the file explorer you can click on it here to open and you can also move to it with shift command E and then let's say we open up the index.html file and I want to add a couple of exclamation points here and save it now we'll see that it shows up here in our git uh, tab and what we've got is um, it's keeping track of all of our changes here and they're going to be um, it's actually I found this really helpful because it reminds you of what you have to change and also when you click on one of these it'll show you a diff so you can see uh, let me hide this you can use command B to hide this uh, sidebar whenever you need to and now you can see here it's highlighted the changes so that's really nice to keep track of of your changes uh, graphically and also you can commit right from here so it's it's pretty cool alright um, I don't need that so you can also revert commits you can click uh, clean and it'll take you back to the head and that's right where we were okay so now we've got in here the first thing we need to do to get started is uh, we're gonna go control backtick to open the terminal and then we're going to run npm install and that is going to download all of the the uh, dependencies that we need for the project Okay. Alright, now we've got all of our node packages installed, and what I'm going to try to do right now and see if it works is I'm going to run node server.js and what this is going to do is open up a local server here so that we can check out the project and see if it's working uh, the way I've done this I've just linked the scripts um, from CDNs here this is for Angular and Angular UI router uh, this is generally fine for getting started um, but for the testing portion of this we're actually going to need to um, download those locally so that the test runner can have access to them so I'm going to do that in a second, but first, let's go and check out this in the browser to make sure we got it working. Okay, so hello from Angular, and now I'm going to type in my name. Okay, so we have our data binding that's working. Alright, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pull in 
some of these libraries so that we have them for testing. So I'm going to create a new folder here. And then I'm going to download um, AngularJS. I've got it here. So you open this link, and it'll be in the description. And then what you're going to want to do actually is uh, Command S, save. And then you're going to save it into this folder under under testing. Okay, and then the next one is going to be the UI router. Again, this link will be in the notes. So you want to go to the page in the browser and then save. And you're going to save this in the same folder. And then the last one is Angular Mocks. So you want to go to that in the browser. Again, the link is in the notes. And then Command S to save and save it into that same folder. Okay, so now we've got those guys in that testing folder and uh, we'll come back to the test later. Um, we can close these. Now I'm going to show you real quick the, um, the views that we're going to integrate um, into the app. I have a basically some uh, it's like a movie poster so and we got movie show times and like a trailer and, and a a description so I'm going to show you what they look like in here and this doesn't uh, the styles aren't applied to it yet uh, because it's um, right now it's just in a view and it hasn't been integrated with the um, the index.html file and it's going to be included when we set up the UI router so we've got that there and then we have we got the movie cast got uh, some info about the cast and then we have the description and then we have the uh, trailer again the uh, styles haven't been added yet but this is gonna we're gonna basically have these in tabs that we're gonna set up with the UI router so um, that's a little preview of what we're going to do in the next steps. There you go.